So don't worry about that. So we'll be doing, if you have joined the session before, I'll be telling you the meanings of all the words before you go ahead. So you'll know the meanings of all the words. And after knowing the meanings of the words, we would be doing what's called, you'll be doing the fill in the blanks. So we'll be starting with the words now. And here we get started. Let's take our dictionary. And let's do the words. I know the first word is easy one. All of you would know the meaning of this word. If it's gone affected. Influenced or touched by an external factor. Artificial, pretentious and designed to impress. So that's the meaning of the first one. The second one is. Affluent. El Affluent and the meaning of the word is especially of a group or area having a great deal of money, wealthy. Basically, someone who is very wealthy. Agrarian. Agrarian, it means relating to cultivated land or the cultivation of land. Of the easy way is for this one because the first one would be a little complicated. It means that. Relating to a Relating land to landed property. A person who advocates a redistribution of landed property. Relating to cultivated land or the cultivation of land. And the next one is... Bucolic. Bucolic, it means... Relating to the pleasant aspects of the countryside and country life. A pastoral poem. It's basically a, a type of poem, basically. Conciliator. A person who acts as a mediator between two disputing people or groups. So basically, it's a, like an interpreter, somebody who is uh, acting for two people, basically. Acting between a person two people. who acts as a mediator between two disputing people or groups. And the next one is conflagration. Conflagration, it means an extensive fire which destroys a great deal of land or property. An extreme extensive fire which destroys a great deal of land or properties. And the next one is depose. Removed from office suddenly and forcefully. So basically somebody is removed from the office. That means it's divorced. The next one is... Oh, what did I do? Wait. Derivative. Imitative of the work of another artist, writer, etc. And usually disapproved of for that reason. Or the easy one for this Something one Something which be, is based on another source. Mean like copyright material, like you copy somebody else's material. Emissary. It basically a person means, sent as a diplomatic representative on a special mission. Oh, I was looking. Filibuster. This one looks so funny. Filibuster. Never heard of that word before. It basically means like you're acting in a very different manner. Act in an obstructive manner in a legislative assembly, especially by speaking at an ordinate length. Or the easy a one you could do with A person engaging in unauthorized warfare against a foreign state. Hemorrhage. An escape of blood from a ruptured blood vessel. Or you could say that a thing person is, suffer a hemorrhage. It's like having a brain hemorrhage. Live. Especially of a person's body, thin, supple, and graceful. Onerous. 
of a task or responsibility involving a great deal of effort, trouble, or difficulty. Involving heavy obligations. Peripheral. Relating to or situated on the edge or periphery of something. A peripheral device. Of a device, able to be attached to and used with a computer, though not an integral part of it. Rarify. Make or become less dense or solid. And the next one is... Insipid. Insipid. What does this word mean? Lacking flavor, weak or tasteless. Mellifluous. Of a sound, pleasingly smooth and musical to hear. And next one is... Perfidy. Perfidy. It is something, it looks like it's something like, which is very perfect. The state of being deceitful and untrustworthy. Quandary. A state of perplexity or uncertainty over what to do in a difficult situation. And the last one is... Savant. So what does this word mean? A very learned or talented person, especially one distinguished in a particular field of science or the arts. Okay, now you got all the meanings of all the words. Now we'll be basically doing what's called the answers now. So let's go with the answers. So you all will tell me if you know the answer, just raise your hands. And then I will write on the top of the word bank what the answers are so let me take one of the colors which is nice so you know all the meanings so let's start with the first one so what do you think would be the meaning of the first one i think so there's only one person raised his hand who is it i won't be giving you any turn if i can't see your faces so if you don't have your cameras on i'm sorry i can't give you your turn Okay, you had now. It's Hayan, I think. So H I Y A A N. Uh, is it so, seven? A seven in chemistry. Oh yeah, good. You got it right. The first one is seven. So let's write number one on it. So this is number one. I have written on that. So the next one now. After their fight, Bed wrote a. Dash note to her friend Maggie to make sure that no hard feelings remain. So, what do you think could be? Let's see who's raised her hand. VK, do you want to unmute yourself and give me the answer for the second one? Oscillatory. Yeah, you're right. It's number two, is this one? Here. Oh, my number two looks like Z. I don't know why. That's number two. So let's move on to number three now. So number three is, remember that it begins with an and. So you know that which words begin with and, A-E-I-O-U. So just try looking for the words which begin with this. And Tash of the King was sent to President the Duck with the proposal for an alliance. So which one do you think? Who didn't get a turn? I think so. It's Yapil Napil. It's N A B I L. Do you want to give? Do you want to give what the third one is? An agrarian. Uh no, it's not that. Anybody else? With a different one. Ami Amania. I don't know. A M I N A. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Do you want to tell what the answer is for number three? Um, is it rapid fire? Uh, no. Okay, should I give you guys the answer? Is... Okay, Camel, do you want to give the answer? Let's try another one if she can give. If that person oh. can give the answer. 
Sorry? Uh, affected. Ah, uh, no, it's emissary. Number three is that because you know the meaning of this word of you guys forgot the meaning of the word. It, a person sent as diplomatic representative as in special mission. Yeah. So we got number three. So now we are on number number four now. So what do you think could be for number four? Disliking both options. Mike found himself in a dash. It's A M I N E. Do you want to try doing this one? Let's see if you get this one right. Number four. Um verify? No. It's not. No, wait, that. no, bit of a buster. Sorry? Bitter buster? Uh, no, it's not that. Nipple, do you want to give it? N A B I L, do you want to give it? Number four. Wondery. Yeah, you're right. It's Wondery. So it's this one here. Oh, what did I do? I was supposed to get. So this one is number four. So now you're number five. Number five is far from the Bristol of London lies the dash countryside of Yogeshwara. Akshik. A S H A X. Akshiks. Do you want to give number five? Akshaks. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to give number five? Very fair. Sorry? Very fair. Oh, uh, no. Um, That's not the one. Anybody else? Okay, I'll be doing unmute from your side because if I pronounce your names, I'll do it. If I tell you to unmute, just give me the answer for number Is five. It... Is it affluent? Ah, uh, no, it's not. Anybody else? Should I give you the answer then? Okay, let me give you guys the answer. The answer for this one is... I think so, one of you did give this answer. Oh. What did I do? Bucolic. It's bucolic. That's for number five. Because bucolic, if you remember the meaning of this word, it basically says that it's relating to the present aspect of countryside. And uh, this is telling you about the countryside, if you remember. So this is number five. Let me write number five on top of that. So you guys know that you have done that one. So now we are on number six. Number six is, his knees continued to dash bleeding fluently even after it had been bandaged. So what do you think could be for number six now? So all your word, word bank is here. What's that, what that word? Hemorrhage. Yeah. How do you put your yeah, hand on? Put your hand on then. Oh. I don't know, but you're not muted. Anybody wants to give? I think so. Somebody who was speaking with his mom was giving the right answer. Do you want to speak out? Yeah. Um, I think it's a hammer forge. Yes, you're right. Good. So that's number six. We got number six now. So let's go on number seven. 
So number seven is, you want this person to speak. This person speaks very nicely. This lady. Let's this lady speak for you guys. Oh, I'm muted. What did I do? I underlined her, then making her speak. Okay. Blank. When heated until it eventually became a gas. The liquid steadily became a gas. So what do you think? The liquid steadily blank when heated until it eventually became a gas. So what do you think could be number seven now? Anyone wants to give the answer for seven? No. Okay, let me tell someone to lower hand and tell the answer. Camel, do you want to give the answer for number seven? Uh, is it uh, the T? Sorry? L-I-T-H-E. Uh, no, it's not. Anybody else? Anybody who's not got a turn before wants to have a try? Um, Priya, I think so. You had have your, your hand up. Do you want to give the answer for number seven? Is it rare fly? No. Yes, it is. Good. It's verify number seven. Let's do that. Can't even see now. It's here. So that's number seven. So now we are on number number eight now. <laughs> number eight is let this person speak loudly. Number eight. Let's see if she speaks properly. Now. I worried that without the proper precautions, our small bonfire might turn into a blank much like those that swept the san diego coastline so what do you think could be for this one that's number eight now Hayan, uh h-i-y-a-a-n do you want to unmute and tell the answer can we see the um like answer options you want to see the options hey okay, are with the options um is it conflagration Yes, it is. Good. That's number eight. So now we are on number nine. We did number eight. Peter's up to sleep. What? Okay. Maybe I did something wrong with this. Peter's underscore blank speech for the audience. Put some members to sleep. So what do you think? Peter's that speech, both the audience and even put some of members to sleep. So what do you think could be for this one? Uh, Y-A-Q-U-B. Do you want to unmute yourself and give the answer for number nine? <sighs> Can we see the options, please? Yeah, sure. Is it filibuster? No, it's not. Oh. Anybody else when, who knows the answer for number nine? Yes, I know it. Yeah, say it then. Uh, is it affected? Uh, no, it's not. Anybody else? Amenia, A M I N A. You want to give the answer? Um, is it affluent? Affluent. Sorry? The affluent. Uh, no. It starts with the I, but it's a different one, not that one, the one you're telling me. Let me see the options then. Oh, 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 oh. I'm really. Affluent. Miss, is it, is it, is it? Yeah. yeah, just say it. Uh, is it insipid? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So that, <clears throat> that's for number nine now. So now we are on number 10. 
So number 10, let's see who can give the answer. Remember the meanings of the words what I told you guys. With that, we'll be doing number 10 now. Mrs. Sam's extravagant jewelry indicated that she was quite blank. Oh, oh, Priya, oh. do you want to give the answer? Is it affluent? Yeah, it is influent. So that's number 10. Now we are on number 11. This is something about the criminals now. The criminals, blank, in hiding the loot from his partners while they slept, prompted one to ask, is there no honor among thieves? So Quote. what do you think could be for number 11 now? Anybody with number 11? Okay. Yes, I think I know it. Yeah, what does it say then? Uh, I think it is um, onerous. Uh, no, it's not. Anybody else with a different option? It's uh, should I give you guys a hint? It starts with it's only it starts with a P. Oh, oh. Who wants to say? Just say it. Let's see who says it. Just say it. Unmute yourself and just say. Perfidy. Sorry. Perfidy. Yeah, Perfidy. it is. <clears throat> that is number eleven. So now we are on number 12. Number 12 is something about singing now. The jazz singer's fans believe her. Blank. Melodies evoke sounds of an earlier decade. So what do you guys think? We got this one. Just unmute yourself and say the answer if you know. Belly fluid. Belly fluid. Yes, it's right. I knew, it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Number 12 oh, is here. So now we are on number 13. Number 13 is. The purpose of the revolution was to blank the king, a democracy. The purpose of the revolution was, was to dash the king and establish a democracy. So what do you think could be for this one? Is, is the word you guys were going on saying again and again and I was saying, no, that's not the one. So what do you think could be for... Uh, is, is it um, depose? Yes, it is depose. So number 13 is... So now we are on number 14. 14 is about... Coral put on a blank smile even though she really felt like crying. So what do you think could be? Who has the hands up? Oh, uh, I know it. Okay, say then if you know it. Honorous. No. Agrarian. Is it affected? It is affected. Number 14 is affected. What? That's 14. So now we are on number... 15 now. The senator blank for a full 23 hours in order to delay the vote on the bill and successfully close the floor to further deliberation upon it. So what do you think could be for this one now? Hmm. Anyone who knows the answer for this, remember the meanings what I told you guys. This one starts with a F. Oh, is it filibuster? Yes, it is. Filibuster. 
So 15 is here. Now we are on number 16. The dances, blank, body cut a striking appearance as she gracefully executed the tricky steps. Can I see? Is yes, sir. Is it lice? Uh, no. Oh, no. So it starts with an L. Lice. Yeah. That's number 16. Now we are on number 17. The critic was not impressed by the new author's work. She said it was so blank that it felt like she had read it before. So what do you think it could be? Um, is it on a yeah. No. <laughs> is it derivative? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Derivative. <laughs> so it's derivative. I don't know how you spell this one. It's number 17 for this one. So now we are on number 18. Number 18 is the task of carrying that heavy duffel bag from place to place must be extremely blank. Anurus. Yeah. Anurus. Anurus. That's number 18. So now we are on number 19. So let's see if you guys know number 19. Number 19 is Though modern Chinese society is the work's central theme, a blank emphasis is placed on traditional Asian culture. Is it Akaran? Akaran. No. Is it um, peripheral? Peripheral. Peripheral. Yeah, because you're left with only two, so you will be guessing all of them, only two of them, right? So number 19, where is that word here? Oh, it's here. That's number 19. And the last one is... Agrarian. Yes. Agrarian. That's number 20. Agrarian. Yeah, so we have completed the first section now. The second one is you need to know the same meanings of these words here. So do you guys know the meaning of the first one? Mm -hmm. Do you know the meaning of the word? It'll be you guys telling me the meaning of the word and I'll see if you guys are right now. Do you know the meaning of... Malevolent. Malevolent. Do you know the meaning of the word? Spiteful. You do? Okay. What is it now? Just speak out. Let's see. Spiteful. 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 Yeah, that's right. Spiteful. Number two, innovative. Anybody? Ingenious. It's basically the meaning of this word. You should know the meanings of the words first. The meaning of this word is of a product, idea, etc. <laughs> new methods, advanced and original. <coughs> or like introduce name, new, new ideas. ideas, original and creative in thinking. Uh, ingenious. Yes, ingenious. ingenious. The next one now, brinkle. Do you know the meaning of this word? No meaning? Wrong. Okay, let's know the meaning of this word first. Does it mean tense? Wrangle. A dispute or argument, typically one that is long and complicated. Is it Squabble. wrong? Is, is it divert? Divert. Squabble. Wrong. And square. <laughs> Somebody just said the right. Squabbin. Yeah. Yes. The next one now. Do you know the. <laughs> sorry. Do you know the meaning of the word? Perfect. Validate. Authenticate. Oh. 
um, is a valid thing. True. It is validated, yeah. yeah. The next one, degrees. Anybody with the meaning of this one? Deviate. Did it confirm? Deviate. Deviate. Yes. Yeah. The next one now. Do you know the meaning of this word? Evil. 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 No. Various. Maybe. Typically of an action or activity, wicked or criminal. Evil. 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 Definitely evil. 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 You see which one is one, two, three, four, five. Evil. Yeah, it is evil. Evil, evil. evil. I knew it. But you know what? They have given the answer. They have written the wrong answer. The answer what's given in the book is this one. Let's see what this word means. Porous. Oh, it cannot be porous. Over rock or other material? No. If you have the book, you can correct the meaning of the word. What they have given is wrong. So the next one is... Having a harmful effect, especially in a harmful. gradual harmful. way. No, harmful. No, yes, a harmful. Because harmful. it's already saying harmful in it. And number, the next one now, it's called archaic. And you know the meaning of this word? Curved. 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 No. Curved. Obsolete. Obsolete. Yes, it's obsolete. And the next one is... How? Leave. Leave. Religious. 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 Yeah, is the next one sociable? Yeah. 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 yeah, it is. Yeah. And the last part now, so you're the last one now, you need to know the opposites now. So what's the op opposite of harmony? Discord. Discord. Yeah. Good. The next one. You're Let's know what the meaning of Innocent. 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 That's not blame. a party going on, liberal and conservative. Blame. Blame. It basically blame. means willing to respect or accept behavior or oh, opinions different from one's own, open to new ideas. Is it conservative? Yes, it is conservative, yeah. The next one now. Do you know the next one? Inoffensive? Scandalous. Yes, it is. Mm. Inoffensive. This one. Then you have effective, something which is really insignificant? effective. Insignificant? Insignificant. Unusual. Unusual. Unusual? unusual? No. Unusual. Bad time? Bad time? Bad time? Yeah. The next one now. <laughs> Perceptible? Imperceptible. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very obvious. No. What does very mean? First of all, vague. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. speak. Put your hands up, please, because again, I can't hear you guys. All of you are speaking on each other. So the next one is basically it means 
What do you think the opposite could be for this one? Of great importance or significance. Insignificant. Yes, it is. Corrupt. Someone who's really corrupt. So what could be? Pure. 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 Yes. And the last one for today, let's see. Aid. 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 Good guys, so you're done all of them now. Uh, we have, I think so, not tomorrow, we have a day after tomorrow on Wednesday now. And we have maths on Wednesday. Do you guys like maths? Yeah, I no. love it. I love, it. I love maths. I We're going to do the end term in maths on English is the best. Thursday. And if you don't have the book, you can just buy the book from Amazon or you can get the book from 11 Plus Help to Success website again. Cool. If you guys want to get the book, yeah? What's the book called? Uh, the book, I have sent the links in the, if your parents in the WhatsApp group, it's if you go on Amazon and just type 11 Plus Help to Success, all the books will come. It's a topic book two. Topic wise book two. For 10 to 11, don't, don't go for 9 to 10 one, just go for 10 to 11 one, yeah? Uh, and it's book two in that. Can, can you show us the answers for the, like, the second question? Second question? <clears throat> it's all, I've all circled all of them. The, the first question on the page. First question on the page. Which one are you looking for? Yeah, that one, that one. Number two. Yeah. Are you done? Uh, guys, always try leaving a feedback of the lessons. How do you like the lessons to be? It'll be really great if you guys leave some feedback. Just go on Ambitious Learning uh, Google page and just tell your parents, give a review, right? Nine out. Tell us how the sessions are and everything. It'll be great for your other friends to know about these sessions also and get your friends also to come on Thursday, Wednesday, if they struggle in end term. Yeah? So I'll see you guys on Thursday. And if you have your siblings who are in year four, we'll be doing another session in the evening for the year fours at four o'clock. What about year three? Year three is too small. Let year three enjoy. No? Year three can you go, enjoy themselves. Can you go to the third question? Which one? Sorry? The one that says five. Yeah, this one. Yeah, thank you. Do you have any other questions about this session? You don't understand anything. You guys are fine with it. Can we go to like the first question? on the first page sorry this one we have just put the answers here we have just marked here then going on the blanks because the blanks were too small for us okay guys I'll be leaving you all now and I'll be closing the session for you all It'll say that stop.